What's up, you guys? It's the 3rd of February. I want you guys to see how little snow is in my front yard compared to where we're going right now. There's like an inch of snow out here, guys. That's it. In my whole yard here. My whole entire yard, just an inch of snow. So wait till you see where we're going. Uh, we're going to Sugarloaf to the other snowiest part of town, then back up to Moonridge to catch some snow falling like it is right now, but it'll be more over there. And go by Bear Mountain real quick. But yeah, check this out, crazy, huh? Very little snow compared to what you're about to see. Peace out, you guys, enjoy the video. Well, good evening, everybody. How are you guys doing today? It's 9.45 p.m. on February 3rd, and a car's coming up on us with no headlights on. See that? Crazy, huh? February 3rd, 2024, in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California, and the snow just started coming down. So here we go, this is what I do. Hope you all are doing great. Don't forget, if you want to help support the channel, best way to do it uh, is to get some merch at BigBearWeatherMore.com or in the description of the video. There are other ways that you can help me out if you'd like. But yeah, would appreciate it if you guys at least go check out the website and see what we have to offer because I'm super proud of it. It's because of you guys that we have stuff. You are the inspiration behind it all. Without you guys, this channel does not... It's, it's nothing. <laughs> you guys have made this channel, you know, what it is today. And then last but not least, when you guys come up here, I'm trying to save you guys money and get you guys the best stuff out there. If you go to Get Boards on, the, on Big Bear Boulevard, there's a snowboard shop and a ski shop, and they're probably a block and two blocks away from the village um, for rentals, snowboard, ski rentals, for, like top-notch products, you guys, best prices in town for sure. And the owner, Tony, is a super cool dude. If you go in there and you tell them that you're, you're there because of me, they will wax your personal skis and snowboards for free. For free, you guys. And those of you who like to ski and snowboard know how, how important a good wax job is to really making it that much better of a day out there. So go to Get Boards on the Boulevard and mention me and they'll take care of you. And last but not least about Get Boards, if you wanna save money on your lift tickets, Go to getboards.com 72 hours ahead of purchasing or 72 hours ahead of the time you planned on going skiing or snowboarding um, and you will get a, a nicely discounted ticket at getboards.com online. So if you buy it 72 hours in advance as opposed to going to the ticket window the day you plan on skiing, you'll save a lot of money online. So there you go. There you go, yo. Let's do this. Here we go. So we're going to go up to the top of Sugarloaf right now, you guys. We'll probably be getting a little bit of snow near the top of Shuggy as well. As I said, it just started. Like, just started. The first snowflake. Um, and I got the live feed going, so you guys can go check out the live feed. That'll be going for 12 hours till probably about 9.30 in the morning. And then we'll be stopping a live feed for about six or seven hours and then we'll be doing live feeds for a few few days straight it's gonna be great I love hanging out with you guys it is going to be fantastic I need to clean the inside of the windshield though the temperature is 36 degrees as I said, getting a, f a few snowflakes. The further we go this way, the less the snow is gonna be impacting us. Um, it, it takes a little bit of time for it to get from where I live over here. So it'll eventually be here on our way back. We'll definitely be seeing it snow. At least I'm pretty certain about that. But yeah, thank you guys again for being here. Um, it looks like in the next 48 hours, there's a possibility of between 12 and 18 inches of snow in our area right here. So I'm really hopeful that that's gonna happen. Our resorts could, could really use it and um, you know, it's, it's, it's what we need for our tourism up here. We, we need it to snow and we need you guys to come up here and have a blast. So never forget any questions you have about this town or anything, just please feel free to ask me. I'm, I'm here for you guys. I always have been and I always will be.
snow there is around here I mean it's very very minimal temperature did fall back fall down to 35 so that's a good sign it's a good sign the colder we get the more snow gets squeezed out of the atmosphere or the more moisture gets squeezed out of the atmosphere and the colder you get the more snow you'll typically get I know there's places for instance I used to live in Denver for two years and people out there when I was 14 and 15 when I was living there, they would say at some point it's too cold to snow. And that always kind of seemed, seemed, seemed weird to me, but um, that can be the case. I can't remember exactly what the reason is, but that can be the case. Hey now. This market, community market, has been here for, gosh, it's probably been here longer than any other building in, in this area for the most part. That is some old Big Bear right there. This used to be the downtown area over here of all of Big Bear Valley. This was it. This was the spot. This was the spot to be. And by the way, I want to say thank you to Deborah Dixon always sending amazing kind 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 letters you seem like the nicest person ever rachel and i are so thankful to have you in our lives thank you so much i mean thank you so much you really take an awful lot of time to write these really long beautiful kind kind letters and we we, we do thank you tremendously knowing that i have that type of impact sometimes is it's just it's the, it's the greatest feeling ever, to be quite honest. I wish I had some Windex inside the car to get this part of the inside of the windshield for you guys. So as I said, we're gonna go up to the top of Sugarloaf. So you guys can see how much more snow is up there. We went to the other snowiest part of town last night. And this is the other snowiest part this time around. I was up here earlier for, for work. And I was like, wow, we need to get up there for sure. Okay, we're gonna be turning right on Maple. Maple, bro. Yeah, maple, brother. All right, here we go. We're off to see the loaf. The wonderful loaf of Big Bear. This is a very dangerous road when we have ice and snow on here. Very dangerous. I always suggest if you guys are up here or have to get up here, there's a road, if we would've kept going straight on Big Bear Boulevard and turned on to Highway 38, you can get up here through uh, on a street called Baldwin. It's still steep, but not like this. Much safer, that's what I want for you guys, safety. Safety is the priority here, no question about it. When it comes to you guys, always. High school, Big Bear High School. But yeah, just keep 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 your eye out to see that we'll be coming into more and more snow. If 
might be a little interesting to drive up to the top, but we're going to do it. Hope we're going to be okay. go down out of Sugarloaf, we would want to make a left here to make it a little bit easier. Here we go. You can already see more snow just in that short little elevation climb that we just did. Boy, I'm so excited for this next part of the storm to come through. We'll obviously be doing a, another video first thing in the morning just to see uh, how much it changed overnight out here. I'm excited. But it's not its not tonight, but tomorrow night and the following night where it's, it's gonna be a huge difference. My biggest concern is for the heaviest part of the storm, there's gonna be a lot of that subtropical Pineapple Express moisture coming up and it could change a lot of the snow into rain for a while. And that's, that's not good. That's not good. I mean, it's great for the lake, don't get me wrong, but for what I'm trying to do, it's not good. It's funny, I can see some stars up here. I don't know if you guys can. Okay, more and more snow. We're just going to keep on climbing and climbing and climbing until we can't climb anymore. We're going to be going right into major bear territory, I'll tell you that. Hope we ain't messing around, yo. So this street is called, what is this street called? I always forget the name of this street. Uh, it'll say right up here. Vista. There we go. We're on Vista. tell but there's a significant difference in snow just right here compared to where we just came from down there through this area that's to get back to maple over there or to get over to the very end and go through moonloaf we would turn right right here but now we're gonna stay straight and, and take this up to the top i remember we're climbing in elevation as well as getting closer to the mountain so both of those will affect the amount of snowfall always It's funny, I see quite a few stars directly above me, but I'm seeing a couple snowflakes falling. I, I, I love that, it's really great. Bear Country. We're at the very top of Sugarloaf right now and struggling. 
turning around here is not easy. We're about to hit the wall behind us. Yep, there it is. Whoop, there it is. A couple of these streets, when you get up to the top, there's a street at the very top up here that takes you down one street so you can go back down without having to make all these U-turns. Yeah, pretty amazing, right? This is the very top of Sugarloaf. Temperature's 32 degrees up here. forget any questions you guys have especially those of you coming up soon send them my way I'm usually pretty darn good at getting back to everybody right there as I said when we drive back we're definitely gonna be I shouldn't say definitely but 90% chance we'll be hitting some snow going back because we left as soon as the first snowflake started coming down it's definitely definitely a few flakes out here right now beautiful home right there just beautiful So, but we're gonna go to the right. I hope. Gosh, I hope we're gonna be okay. Once again, we're in bear territory up here now. To the left, it's just forest. Straight up forest. Scary in there. I'm telling you guys. Freaky. Ooh, this looks 
this looks extremely sketchy. Why am I doing this? If my car slides straight, I'm going over this edge right here. Oh my gosh. Looks like there's a road down there. That's crazy. Who on earth? That's crazy. All right, we made it. Some more snowflakes are coming down. This is great. Dun, 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 dun. Um, that is now those stars have disappeared already it's just un unbelievable how fast these clouds move when you're at elevation but look at all the snow up here Definitely more, more and more snowflakes are falling. Again, it looks like I'm absolutely flying through here on the camera, but I assure you, I'm not even going 20, I'm going like 19. soda with me. Hang on guys, let me, let me get my soda ready to drink here. Alright, this is Barton Road again. We're going to take this back to Maple and I'll show you guys the other way down and up which will make it a lot easier for you. safer route up and down Sugarloaf when there's ice and snow in the road. It's still a little bit steep, but it's going to be a lot safer if you do end up sliding off the road. There's not really deep ditches and stuff like that that you're going to have to worry too much about over here. So I always suggest you come up and down this, this route.
again, we're getting closer now to the least snowy part of town. The further we go this way, so that's why you're not seeing any snowflakes right now. But again, once we start heading back the other way, we should start to see some more snowflakes and more consistent snowflakes. Highway 38, that way leaves town, and this way goes back into it. outside so I don't have to like type my responses to you guys once I see your comment on the screen of the TV I just speak out loud and then you guys can hear me which is fantastic just fantastic Cocina de Mexico. We're gonna 
to make a left and just stay on that and it'll turn into Sugarloaf Boulevard eventually. It's this yellow building. Cocina de Mexico. Really, really good Mexican food. Here we go. Let's roll. Big pothole. We might pass one or two cars at the most the rest of the way, so that's why we're taking this way. Thank you, baby. I'm about to get on Sugarloaf Boulevard and come back through Moon Ridge, so I'll be home in 20 minutes. I hope you're feeling better, honey. so we would go back and forth just to keep things novel, you know? Not be stagnant in one place. It felt nice that we had two places, you know? come up to the stop sign the house caddy corner or right across here to the right that was my wife's place right there we'll drive by it slowly much bigger than my place to the last part of Sugarloaf Boulevard, which is uh, it dead ends onto Division Road. So you can make a left or a right. If you make a right, you're heading back into Big Bear City and towards Big Bear Boulevard. But we're gonna make a left here on Division Road to head into Moon Ridge. At least I think we are, aren't we? Yeah, we are.
called Sugar Pine for literally 50 feet and then an immediate right onto McAllister. So here we go, let's do it. There's the left and then here's the right onto McAllister. right up against the mountain next to Bear so we can get some more snowflakes unless we get some sort of crazy blizzard overnight then I'm I'm not gonna go back out until early early morning to get to Bear Mountain. That's what we're going to do, guys. Hope you're cool with that. We're going to turn right here on Butte like we did last night during the snow. It's 33 degrees. snowflakes again. Told you that would happen once we got over here. Sheep. Uh, what? You know what? 
it's saying, okay, we're gonna take this way on sheep horn. Look, look at how steep that is. Jeez Louise. We're gonna take this. Remember you guys, I always record the first snowflakes no matter what. Anytime we get a, a little impulse coming through, I will always, no matter what, get the first snowflake. Sometimes it turns out to be a lot at that time and sometimes it's like this, just super minimal, but it's still great. What is going on here? Why, is, why are we on, on Menlo here? Looks like it's snowing up there. Either way, we're good. There's Bear Mountain back through. Oh, no, that's Snow Summit. All those lights over there. I don't know if you can see them behind the houses there, but that's Snow Summit. No way, did I just really pull that off? That's not what I want to do. We're, we're going to go back up this way. I feel like we're in Groundhog Day. So we're going to make this a little quicker. We're going to take the sheep horn that I know instead of doing the random act that I just did. <laughs> street we're going to turn right and then turn left onto sheep horn from there so that should be pretty great we're going to let this guy go ahead again so we can uh, keep the brights on right now. Wow, these people having a rager. turn right here with ice and snow everywhere and it's, it's starting to snow the most that it's snowed on this whole drive yet but yeah you gotta make this really gnarly turn Woo. hey 
the one person still watching, if you haven't hit the like button, help help me out. Hit that like button for me, subscribe, and maybe if you have an extra moment, just share this to your social media just so people can find this channel and we can grow together. the Airbnb that we just did the giveaway for and if you want to stay here anyway if if you didn't win just go to the Big Bear Weather and More website and uh, send an email through there or go to the Instagram page and ask about it and the owner he's a cool dude it's right here he will take care of you if you mention that you got the information from the channel So that's it, right there, we just passed it. And also, I, I forgot to mention earlier in the video, for those of you who wanna know about where to go sledding for free, a few good sledding spots for free, at the bigbearweatherandmore.com website, there is a map that shows you exactly where to go, plus the video that I made. So you guys can watch the video and see the, the exact instructions on how to get to these spots. but we are getting some snow. It's going to definitely be more the further we go this direction. There's a coyote right there. You get to the parking lot of Bear Mountain and the golf course. Look at how nice and untouched this hillside is. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh man, I, I absolutely love that. There's Bear. Quick. There's nobody on the road right here. Hang on. I saw my buddy's car over here. I just want to see if it's him because I'm going to send him a message once I get home. Uh, look at that beautiful bear mountain. Gosh, look at all that snow. It's beautiful. Is that his? Yep. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Sorry, guys. I appreciate you letting me do that. I know this is ridiculous what I'm doing. Okay. 
that's where we would be finding more snow falling from the beautiful sky. And it's 31 degrees now. Gotta be careful. This, this, you end up speeding up quite a bit on, on this road. This is club view. If you turn around, guys, right here, and just go back the other way, if you stay straight on this road till you get to the very top, there's a whoop, one of the free sledding locations up there. Just make sure you're parking in the proper spots. That's all I ask. why this zoo right here is phenomenal is because they take injured animals from the wild and they bring them in and they rehab them and then if they're well enough to go back into nature they will release them back into nature so it's a it's a, it's a great zoo anyway you guys thank you guys for watching I appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed the drive there wasn't that much snow on the drive but again it's what I do as soon as we get any snowflakes I'm out I'm out here doing it I'm sure as soon as I hit the stop button on the camera is when it's gonna really pick up but that's why you guys can hop over to the live feed and hang out for a while Thank you for everything, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out. February 3rd, 2024.